guys. Signs of Scorpio. This is Kim here to give you a reading for the next 72 hours. Tarot and Oracle will do both. And um, let me turn my light a little bit. Gosh, it was going right in my face. We're going to start with angel numbers and a few Oracle and then we'll do a tarot spread. So Scorpio calling in your angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages that will propel them forward and um, always for the highest good sign of Scorpio. Angel numbers. What kind of angel numbers do you have for today, Scorpio? Oh, I love this number. I love that number. 444. It's like my favorite. Um, just to let you know that it's encouraging to be told by angels or spirit guides that you're on the right path. So you are, though, when you see 444. And it says here, I am protected. Trust your journey and trust the way your life unfolds. And trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. It's a card of assurance for you. There we go. All right, this is the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. I'm going to be using these this week. For Scorpio, please, for Scorpio. So, Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. I think I say so. I just pronounced it wrong. Okay, so one card. First card Unwavering Faith. You are being asked to have faith in the unseen. Yeah, this, that there's something about the journey right now that feels um, not, not sure if it's real or not sure if it's um, the right way to go. It's like that state of like, I'm feeling lost now. I think I find my way, but I'm still not really sure until I get found, right? So, unwavering faith. You are being asked to have faith in the unseen. Four, four, four. Which is you. Think about it. The unseen. Oh, wow. Entrepreneur. So, maybe you all are thinking about starting a business, something of your own. This is a good sign. Be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities to unfold. So, that might be why you're on the path that you're on right now might lead you and I don't I shouldn't say might because it will as long as you trust it and um you know always do things for your greatest good and others it will come to you synchronicities the right people will come into your life Scorpio we have a reconciliation this relationship or friendship or partnership can be saved so maybe this is about mending too Okay, not just like reunion, but coming together to solve problems or differences. Healing with nature. Your soul yearns to be outside in nature around the healing waters, flowers, and trees. Yeah, they say water really helps um, transmit, you know, energy, like psychic energy. So, if you want to meditate near water, that would really be even better. But you can always meditate by just walking around um, and being as quiet as, you know, you can be. Your soul yearns to be outside around healing waters, flowers, and trees. And I've also heard that the trees speak to us. Nature, all nature does. Especially, uh, you know, in the way of repeating itself uh, by showing the same animals, stuff like that. Core values. Follow your heart and make your values a priority. Follow your heart and make your values the priority. And then self-love. I like that. You are learning that your capacity to love others is directly related to your ability to love yourself, Scorpio. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like that. All right. So now, wisdom from the oracle. What do we have for Scorpio? And then we're going to go ahead and get started on your um, tarot spread. Where's Scorpio? What do we got? Next 72 hours. Nice. 
new life. So th this is all about usually manifestation, breathing new life into something that you're going to start, either business or new life um, additions to the family. It can be about that too. I look at this as your manifestation about to pop open. Seeing the signs a little bit clearer. All right, so well, we have the Urban Tarot. We're going to ask it a few questions. I might not do a whole Celtic cross, but we will do um, enough to get, you know, information on these next few days. So what's going to be the issue for Scorpio next 72 hours? It's going to be the issue for Scorpio. issue is going to be about you really trying to go after this material stability. Um, it's like you're trying to have more than enough, but it's posing itself as a challenge right now. Something about that. And, and it could be loss of wealth. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know about your situation, but here we have page of wands on the bottom and that's good news. So something's restarting again. Let's see, what's the challenge here? For Scorpio? No. Uh-oh. Well, one just fell right on the floor. Oh, 10, 10. Wow, watch your thoughts, keep them positive. That's usually what that means when you see it. There's your synchronicities again. That's a brand new chapter ready to begin. You know, there's an ending here, but there's also a rebirth. 10 of Swords rebirth going from like losing a lot to reborn let's find out how what is the past situation with these uh issues the the ten tens past situation for scorpio what was past all right so they want to give us a lot in the past we have seven of wands a need to defend yourself Two of Cups, possibly to stand up for somebody or need to defend yourself in a partnership, otherwise harmonious. Or it can be about love and standing up for others, advocacy. The Moon and the Three of Wands. Okay, so there's th this goes in line with uh, your journey card, 444, because... When you are on the right path, but things are unknown, it's like this moon energy. You can trust something in it, but you're only going to be guided a baby step at a time so you to not, you know, get overwhelmed. But something in this past energy told you that even though your journey, complete journey, your destination was not known, you still did enough to have these great expectations for yourself. And that's, that's really great. So that's you waiting on getting something, receiving something. All right, let's see what the outcome is going to be for this. Outcome for Scorpio. Outcome for Scorpio. It still might be hidden from us too right now. All right, Scorpio. We oh look that we have the High Priestess and the Power card. This Four of Pentacles in this deck is about building something from the ground up. Entrepreneurship. High Priestess all about uh, your intuition. And I was saying water would be a good place to meditate. Maybe you could do that in a tub too. Okay, so. What do we have? We have the Judgment card. Either that somebody might need to, well, not need, but you could forgive somebody in a relationship or a partnership if you wanted to. I think that might be the challenge. Either somebody won't forgive you or you kind of don't want to forgive them. And, and it may be because of their um, effect that they had on this Ten of Pentacles, like this rune or loss. So maybe you're not sure if you can let go of resentment, but I think you can because when you realize that it helps you just as much as it helps the other person to keep your thoughts positive and move past anger and resentment, then you'll probably do that. So nine of wands is to persevere. 
So to keep going, keep the health of the situation going. All right, guys, Scorpio, I'm going to do the tea leaves now. Pretty straightforward reading here. Really like the 444. Wall, a misunderstanding. Butterfly, a change for the better. Has to do with that new life. Egg, success is assured with good plans and hard work. Fan, romance, celebration, or party. Oh, I like this one, Scorpio. You need to trust your path. Once again, well, great worry over nothing. One more for six, love and harmony. Hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. Yeah, there's definitely something about forgiving, reconciliation, somebody needing help. Hmm. Maybe yourself, maybe you need to reach out. Maybe you need to reach out for either help or mentorship. Somebody to talk to. All right, let's get you a guardian angel card next. Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, oh wow. So your challenge is a challenge, Scorpio. This, this truly, this is taking a light by saying, this might look hard, but trust your journey because truly, this is a hard journey. Angel of challenges only comes up when your angels are acknowledging what a hard, I was going to say horrible, but a hard time that you're having getting over an obstacle. But they're saying, don't be worried. Call on us. Don't be worried. The moment you think of them is the moment that they're there. All right, Scorpio, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, please do subscribe so that you can see more videos. And as always, sending you much love and light. <laughs> love and light. So enjoy your day. Bye-bye.